the Gospel of Matthew, who will enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 7 21-23 Introduction 1. Most people believe they will go to heaven when they die. A. Their hope is fostered by the comforting words of many preachers, priests, and rabbis. B. Their hope is based upon the idea that heaven is for all believers, or for those whose good works outweigh the bad. 2. But are such hopes well founded? A. Will most people go to heaven when they die? B. Is salvation based upon good works? Is it based upon faith only? 3. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus gave some ominous warnings. A. Few, not many, would be saved. Matthew 7 13-14 B. Many religious people, including some believers in Jesus, will learn that they too will be lost. Matthew 7 21-23 4. With Matthew 7:21-23 as the springboard for our study, I wish to address the question, who will enter the kingdom of heaven? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will tell me in that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, in your name cast out demons, and in your name do many mighty works? Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work iniquity. Matthew 7 21 23. 1. What is the kingdom of heaven? A. The term kingdom of heaven. 1. Is synonymous with the kingdom of God. Matthew 4 17 with Mark 1 14 15 2. Refers to God's kingship, or rule from a heaven. The kingdom of heaven is focused in the person of Jesus Christ, and is especially manifested where he rules in the hearts of men. Luke 17 20-21 b. In brief, the kingdom of heaven. 1. Is spiritual in nature. John 18 36. Romans 14 17. 2. It began when all authority rule was given to Jesus. Matthew 28, 18. Acts 2, 36. Ephesians 1, 20-23. 3. Today, it includes the Lord's church on earth for those who submit to the will of Christ or added to the kingdom. Colossians 1, 13. Revelation 1, 9. 4. In the future, it will involve the new heavens and new earth, where we will be with God and Jesus for eternity. Matthew 13:40-43, 2 Peter 3:10-13, Revelation 21, 1 through 22, 5. The kingdom of heaven was inaugurated on the day at Pentecost, and will be culminated when Jesus returns to deliver it back to God. 1 Corinthians 15 23-28 C. The kingdom of heaven in our text 1. Appears to have the future aspect of the kingdom in view. A. Note that Jesus says in that day Matthew 7 22 B. An apparent reference to the day of judgment. 2 Timothy 1 12 and 18 also 4, 8 2. Thus Jesus is talking about who will enter the kingdom in its future aspect. A. Of which he spoke on other occasions. Matthew 25, 31-34. B. Of which Peter wrote in. 2 Peter 1, 10-11. 2. Who will enter the kingdom of heaven? A. Not everyone who professes Jesus. 1. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. 2. There are some who teach that as long as one believes in Jesus, they will be saved. A. That salvation is by faith only. B. Even though the only time faith only is found in the scriptures, it says, 
You see then that a man is justified by works, and not by faith only. James 2, 24, 3 But there is such a thing as an unsaved believer. A. The demons believe, but are not saved. James 2, 19 B. There were some who believed in Jesus, but were not saved. John 12, 42, 43 C. Jesus described a true disciple as one who not only believes in him, but does what he says. John 8, 30-32 Let no one think that just because they believe in Jesus, they have a free ticket into heaven. B. Not everyone who does many good works. 1. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not? Matthew 7:22. 2. Here were people who not only believed in Jesus, but believed they had a. Prophesied in his name b. Cast out demons in his name c. Done many wonders in his name They thought they had been empowered to do such wonderful works. 3. Such good works certainly did not earn their way to heaven. A. Indeed, salvation is by grace, not meritorious works. Titus 3, 3-7 B. Good works have not saved Cornelius, he still needed to be told what to do to be saved. Acts 10, 1-5 and 11:14. 14 4. Indeed, sometimes what we may think is a good work is without any authority. A. Jesus condemns these as those who practice lawlessness. Matthew 7:23. B. Literally, those who act without authority. 1. It was not that they did something condemned by Jesus. 2. It was that they did things for which they had no authority. We might be very religious, and do many things in the name of Jesus, yet he might still say, I never knew you. Depart from me. C. Only those who do the Father's will. 1. As Jesus said, He who does the will of my Father in heaven. Matthew 7:21. A. Here is the dividing line, those who do the Father's will. B. As James would write later, it is the doer of the work who is blessed in what he does. James 1:22-25. 2. Is this legalism? A. No. Legalism is salvation by perfect law-keeping, believing that one earns salvation by the merit of what they have done. B. Salvation by grace does not preclude the necessity of obedience. 1. We simply need to recognize that our obedience does not earn or merit salvation. 2. When all is said and done, we are still unworthy. Luke 17 10. 3. The Father's will, while it offers salvation by grace, does require obedience. A. Only those who obey from the heart will be delivered from sin. Romans 6 17 18. B. Christ is the author of salvation to all who obey him. Hebrews 5 9. C. Christ will come in judgment against those who obey not the gospel. 2 Thessalonians 1, 7-9 Conclusion 1. Who will enter the kingdom of heaven? A. Not those who profess to believe, but do not obey. B. Not those who think they are doing many religious things, but without authority. C. Only those who do the Father's will. 2. This is why we must take an earlier statement in Jesus' sermon so seriously. A. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Matthew 6.33 B. We must make the finding of God's will and rule the number one priority in our life. 3. What is the Father's will? It begins with A. Repentance toward God and faith in Jesus Christ. 
Acts 20, 21. B. Confessing Jesus as Lord. Romans 10, 10. C. Being baptized into Christ for the remission of sins. Acts 2, 38. Followed by a life of faithful service to Christ, confessing our sins along the way. Revelation 2, 10. 1 John 1, 9. Are you doing the Father's will? The end. The Gospel of Matthew. Who will enter the kingdom of heaven? Matthew 7, 21-23.